Today we're going to be looking at a, a project to do with some mementos or some special things that you may have collected from a vacation or just from time spent together. In this particular case, this is for my best friend and this is uh, times that she remembers being with her dad. So what we're starting out with are some seashells that she collected along with some driftwood, some starfish, some sea glass um, that was purchased and many other items that we have to work with. So you want to gather all the materials you can and come up with some sort of plan. So the first thing I did was lay out all of my items, the biggest items that I had to kind of give me an idea of what I wanted this first um, hanging wall hanging to look like. And the board that I'm using is a board that we simply, uh, my, my friend gave me from Hobby Lobby. She bought two of them. And so the first thing I'm going to be doing is the first board and then I'll, I'm going to hang it vertically instead of horizontally. And so I am gluing down the bases of my plan on my first board. This is the sea glass, the starfish, some driftwood, and a few oyster shells. Around here, we live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. You don't have a ton of shells to choose from, but you do have uh, a lot of oysters to choose from and a few other small shells. And we really do not advocate disturbing any of the creatures that live in these shells or the starfish because, you know, they are live creatures and a lot of times you see them on the beach if you see them there and they're alive please leave them be as you can see that these are white that means they have already passed away so you can use them as you wish um, we do have sand dollars and a few other things but we rarely see our starfish unless you're out at one of our islands so um, these are some other shells that we've gotten and please subscribe click that notification bell and um, the like button and all the good things that you can do share it among your friends I would greatly appreciate it if you like these videos to keep on coming so now I'm gonna take some of the shells and I'm, I'm laying them out more and creating more of a pattern to what I'm doing so um, you can be random you can also uh, in between the random create some sort of pattern and continuity meaning use the same items over and over in certain ways so that it gives you that uh the flow the the motion that you want in your picture and this is going to be hanging on the wall in her living room so i wanted it to be a comforting reminder for her of her father who has since passed So when you work on these type of projects, and I call them multimedia, mosaics, or um, you know whatever you want to call, uh, you're just going to put a bunch of different items together. Do try to make sure, as with any good design, that you have about three of an item or more. Um, try not to only put one item down unless it's a really big special item. But um, try to get three or more of a particular item like in this case three starfish and you know more than three oysters and more than three shells and more than three sea glass I think you get the picture it works best if you stick with like prime numbers and not even numbers so you don't want to do two four six you want to do three seven you know nine whatever you want to you know odd numbers are better So these are some um, half pearls, meaning they were cut, kind of cut in half, and I'm just laying them around. And so I'll be going back and filling in areas that I think need more of interest or uh, pattern or something like that. And I'm still just laying down, and with any good design, you set down a main pattern, and then you go back and you fill it in. So this is what I'm doing. And this, the backer board that I'm using, that is the actual color of the backing board that it came in. And it goes beautifully with these driftwood pieces that I'm adding to the star. 
and then on addition to that I have some um, now my best friend is very sparkly she's very um, shiny I don't know the best way I could describe her is like a shiny new penny always and we've been friends for over 30 years so um, I'm putting some additions into this like some sparkly beads and you know you do you whatever you want to do in your project so I'm going to be using um, the sparkly shiny like half diamonds or rhinestones and then the pearls the half pearls and I'm adding special features in here like what I'm doing in the top corner of it right now is adding an angel and that is simply made out of two wings well two shells that I found that matched and made a wing they were opposite of each other and I'm adding another shell with a pearl glued to the top of it for the body of my angel The glue stick that I'm using is a Gorilla Glue glue stick today in my uh, hot glue gun, which is made by AdTech. And you can check out links below to find any of those items that you wish to find. Glue is very hot, so occasionally you'll see me pull back really quickly. And that is usually because I burnt myself. Um, just so you know and glue webs are a common thing when you use a hot glue gun uh, You Just keep you know I'll keep pulling them off and pulling them off because it just kind of leaves a trail of a little glue web Now you could use e6000 you could use uh, the liquid gorilla glue not the colored you want the clear of course um, you could use any kind of glue that you want I just prefer the hot glue because it's the fastest way to work and you do want to use something like the Gorilla Glue as opposed to your everyday glue because the everyday glue would just pop right off of this wood. And I found that the Gorilla Glue, it really does last a good bit longer and holds much better than the regular old hot glue. So you can see I'm just adding different sizes of pearls, different sizes of shells, putting them in a row, gluing them down with my hot glue. If you have any questions or comments or would like to uh, see any other projects done, please be feel free to comment below and check out some of my other links, as well as my personal YouTube channel, which is just Deanna Carroll. And um, I have just personal stuff like, you know, around my yard tours and things like that um, to look at below. You can also check out the Ivy Creates website and see our blog and see some of the services we may offer. This is just a such a peaceful thing to do and my friend called me recently, it was the anniversary of her father's death. and she was just like I want to do this but I just can't can you please do it for me and I said of course so uh, this is why we're doing it we're doing uh, it's a nice memory for her and I did go and leave it at her house as a surprise uh, that I had finished it while she was out and she got home and she was very surprised and very happy now these are um, random seashells and things too in addition to the ones she collected because I needed more than what she had collected and I wanted to have a lot of variation in what I was doing I did go to a local souvenir shop and get a few more shells because you know they always have stuff that we might not have around here so I, I did go and get a few more to add to the collection that I already had but you don't have to use what you have on hand please you know, don't feel like you have to go and purchase anything. If you have pine cones in your yard and you want to make something out of them, you use that. You know, if you have sticks in your yard or rocks or whatever the case may be. Now, these sea glass that I have here was purchased because we don't have a lot of sea glass around where we are. And um, that sea glass is pretty big chunks of rocks. So you don't 
you don't have to you know worry about oh this rock is too big or anything because those are pretty big chunks and they glued down perfectly and they stayed perfectly on this uh, beautiful panel you can check out um, on my YouTube channel there is another video that I did doing uh, a mermaid and the mermaid came out really pretty because I used a wood cut out from Hobby Lobby and put it on a backing and then I used a bunch of the crushed glass vase filler from Michaels that looks like little tiny mirrored stuff and I used that and it came out so pretty another coastal decor type of um, you know wall hanging that you might like to look at and I hope this is uh, a bit of an inspiration for you um, it is inspirational for me it got my juices going and I was like oh boy now I need to make some Christmas ornaments out of shells which I love to do and some other things down here on the coast we uh, use our big oyster shells because they can be quite large these are actually smaller ones the ones that you see and I am gluing the half pearls to them we don't have pearl oysters here although our oysters do sometimes produce pearls not very big and not very pretty but they do it and um, but our oysters are huge shells they're pretty massive shells so you can do a lot with them we paint them we make them into Santa Clauses we we do all kinds of things we make shell trees out of them for oyster shell Christmas trees and uh, just a number of things there are many many crafts you can do with different types of shells I always think you know the ocean brings everything that you need to survive pretty much because I find all kinds of things on the beach when I walk the beaches on the daily so that's just a little small tiny little oyster shells that we're um, I'm gluing to the backer board the best part of this is that there is really nothing that you have to do to any of these items to preserve it because it's pretty much as it is um, natural as it is uh, the only thing we do when we do oyster shells is I do run some clear coat over the oyster shell just to because it's very very porous and very um, calcium like and or lime I don't know how to explain it anyways it breaks down rather quickly you know powdery wise so you want to put a little clear coat over it just to make sure it's good and sealed but the whole project in itself we don't seal any of that now these are some of those great vase fillers I was telling you about that are the cracked glass and the cracked glass it's got a mirror coating on it these came from Michaels and I've used them for lots of things and I've still got quite a few left so um, it is it's a, a little investment about eight dollars I think it was but they've lasted me through so many projects and so I really do enjoy them and think it's totally worth it the only thing I really fought hard not to put into this was my signature um, super fine iridescent glitter which I use on a lot of my uh, coastal projects because it makes a great substitute for sand um, please subscribe and click that notification bell and you'll get to see our videos every week but yeah I like to use that iridescent glitter for sand and I did use it in just a place or two to touch touch it up but um, try not to use glitter on things that hang on the wall <laughs> unless I'm doing a painting and I've got a special reason to have it in there it's just you know a hard fight for me you know it's funny because I'm not a person that wears a uh, uh, flowers or glitters or uh, bedazzled stuff I'm a person that wears plain black pretty much all the time black shirt black pants black shoes whatever but I don't really wear a lot of color and I don't wear a lot of patterns at all ever and I definitely don't wear glitter but glitter is almost always all over me because I'm using it for one of my projects 
one of the hazards of growing up in a flower shop and working most of my life in one. So do check out some of my other videos. I, I think you'd enjoy them. I also included a slideshow in and of my videos of some of my many floral designs that I have done over the past few years. Not, not for a long, you know, not all of them, just a few little small sample. And check it out and see if you like it and give me a comment and let me know what you think. So, now that I had my main pattern down and I had all the very straight things that I wanted, I'm basically going back in and filling in areas that I thought needed a little bit more. That little something extra. And you can see I'm pulling glue, glue webs off of my project as I'm doing it. And I tried to show you it's really hard to translate into a camera what is sparkly and what is not. Um, especially into these little webcams that I'm using. So uh, do understand that this is fairly sparkly even though it doesn't have glitter in it. So this is the next board that I'm doing and I was taking and laying it out again to see what pattern I wanted and primarily I took all the things that she gave me and the biggest parts of them I laid them out to see how they would look and everything um, you know to and what I wanted to use most and so of course the starfish were the center of the show because they were really pretty and so I just stacked them almost like a tree and then place everything else around those. Please stay tuned to the end of the video to where you can see um, some pictures of the final product and how pretty they are. So, so far in our project we've used driftwood, little driftwood pieces, not anything big or, you know, unique. Um, just some driftwood pieces. We've used some starfish. We've used oyster shells. We used sea glass, cracked glass, half pearls, some half diamonds, you know, fake ones, not real ones. And um, some other random seashells that I picked up from different stores. I even picked up some seashells from Walmart believe it or not so that little cut piece shell that you can see on the screen right now the cut shell that is uh, I think a Walmart purchase so um, and I'm gonna be using that for an angel's dress but I had another really cool idea if I had some bigger cut shells like that would make excellent trees for Christmas of course It is mid-October here. We just finished with our Cruising the Coast event, which is the big car show we have here on the coast. It's massive. We didn't get a whole lot of folks this time around because we happen to have, once again, another hurricane um, that was coming to town, so everybody else left town. Um, but it is warm and beautiful outside and we love it here, in spite of all the hurricane stuff. So you can see that I'm just generously applying the glue to the back of the driftwood and on this one I'm doing it a little differently because I had more stars and I wanted to make the driftwood kind of almost a frame and I didn't want both of these to be matchy-matchy. I wanted them to stand on their own as their own art pieces 
so that um, you could use them separately if you wanted to or together. I hope you're enjoying this craft and I hope you subscribe and come back and visit us on a regular basis and that way you'll get your notifications and everything that tells you when uh, my next video is going to be produced. So what is your favorite project? Please leave me a comment and let me know what is the thing that you like best and, and what have you created memories with. Uh, you can see that I put another angel on this one as well and I'm getting ready to get her in place and I just kind of put things around until I feel comfortable with where they are and then I move them and you'll find that when you glue things down also that in addition to that you 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 tend to move things naturally anyways so I'm going to use that cutout piece that I showed you earlier as my angel's dress and put that right below the wings that I had matched up and put the shell on top and then I'll put a, a, a head piece on top of that. So I'm just trying to select different little pieces uh, from my cut glass again to make it sparkle and shine when you hit this from different directions it'll give you a different look depending on where you are in the room so now I'm going to be gluing them down to make sure they're just where I want them Yes, the Mississippi Gulf Coast is a really beautiful place to visit in October and April and maybe during the winter because it doesn't get too cold here, but during the summer it is absolutely miserably hot. So <laughs> I've lived here, uh, grown up down on the Gulf Coast my entire life, I uh, lived in New Orleans for about 10 years. and back over here you know when it was time to raise a family so um i do love it it is a beautiful place don't tell anybody it'd be our little secret um but it is it is definitely a more laid back slow vibe to it and you know beach life completely 100 percent So now I'm just taking some of these scallop shells and um, gluing them down and gluing my sea glass. I try to make sure that I put a little half pearl on each of the oysters that I glue down because I don't know it just it feels like oysters should have a pearl even though ours naturally do not but they do have some really awesome colors and every once in a while I'll get one that I call like the Aurora Borealis of shells and it's usually not a white oyster shell they you know our seashells come in many different colors depending on where you are and oysters are not all white um, so these are usually are a beige kind of color and they have the most amazing colors in them just lots of different ways very iridescent very different not your basic white pearl more like a, an opal so again i am placing my patterns down trying to get all the patterns right that i want before i start going back and filling it in With the exception of the beads, these are all natural materials. And natural colored, I didn't paint them, I didn't do anything to them. I 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned for some future videos. I have a lot of good things coming and I cannot wait to share them with you. So now I'm just placing, trying to see what is most pleasing. Now that I have the basis for my design down, I just want to go back and fill it in some and make it, you know, just have that little bit of extra. So most of this is about fitting your shells and in the way that is most pleasing to the eye and I, I really didn't want them being on top of each other. Please leave us a comment, a like, a share, all that good stuff. Um, send me a message, let me know what you think of our projects. I say our, it's my project. And my best friend that I'm making this for, she uh, lived away from the Gulf Coast for, I did for about 10 years, she did for about 20 years. And she lived in California, she's lived in Ohio, she lived all over the place. And um, she couldn't get back down here soon enough. <laughs> she missed it that badly and she is a true, true Southern girl southern belle we should say uh she met her husband when she was living in shreveport and he was in the air force so they did move around for quite a bit but um if you ever heard her accent she definitely has a southern mississippi accent i'm frequently told i do not and um people in especially up north could not understand a word she said and did not understand how boisterous she is um they had difficulties you know with with her in general because she was she's just a definite true southerner <laughs> she's very nice she is very talkative and um i'm not i'm an introvert i'm completely different but um she's very hosp hospitable uh she has that southern hospitality thing whereas i'm you know like board up the house and tell people go away kind of thing <laughs> but she's very different she's my alter ego The way I have my desk set up is I do have like one of those portable fold up tables and underneath that table I have another table and it acts as a like a pull out drawer as if you had a pull out drawer in a desk. And it's a good place to put things up under it to hide them to use it you know it's it's just it's very handy for me. If I had a keyboard in front of me on on that I, I would put it down on that lower space. Um, my keyboard is over to the side, fortunately. But stay tuned for final product pictures and a short video that's actually in my yard. So you can see what it looks like um, in, you know, what the pictures look like sitting out in the yard. They're very pretty. Everything looks better in natural sunlight, I guess. But you can see a little bit better now this cut, you know, crushed glass that I have. Um, I just like that stuff. I really do.
Thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the, the music that I put on here for you. Um, try to find some really good theme related music that's nice and soft. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that as well as watching the video. Um, I'll be posting some more videos very soon. I try to post them every single week. One to two videos a week if possible. So I'm just adding, finishing my, uh, finishing up my little mosaic or uh, multimedia design, whatever you want to call it. And look, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had put some glue in some places. And that's another thing about doing the, um, if you're doing coastal stuff and using the iridescent super fine glitter for um, sand, is that if you're using glue anywhere, it kind of helps to cover up the glue and makes it look like sand. And I must have not been able to help it anymore. And I got out the glitter to put it in some of the glue spots. And I'm just pulling the spider webs of uh, glue away from the board. And adding in some half diamonds for some more sparkle. Please subscribe and check that notification bell and uh, leave us a comment below and let me know what you think about this project or if you had any requests for a specific project or even if you have any questions. Um, I'm always up to answer questions and tell you, you know, how you can get some of these things as well. And if you have a particular memory mosaic you'd like to do, let me know. Let me know what it is and show me pictures of whatever you do. I was really happy with the way this turned out. In fact, so much that I kept all the stuff that she sent me so I can make another project for her that she won't know about yet. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I always think of a million things that I could be telling you guys while I'm making the project and even while I'm starting the beginning editing. But the minute I get on to do a voiceover, I clam out, clam up, and I can't remember anything that I wanted to tell you guys about this project. And I'm sure that there were so many things and I'll remember them right after I finish publishing this. <laughs> but uh, do stay tuned and look at the really pretty pictures at the end. Thank you so much for being here and I really do appreciate you being a part of everything that we're doing here. The last thing I'm going to do is because I frequently don't remember to do the first things first. I always remember them after the fact and that's just, I, I, I don't know why. 
So I'm gluing a hanger onto the back and I'm just using two little dabs of glue where the nails go in for it to hang on its side. You can see it would have been hanging uh, horizontally, but I'm gonna cut that string off and I just wanna put the hanger on the back. And once I put the little dabs of glue to hang the wood hor uh, vertically, the dabs of glue turned out to be the best thing ever because it holds that tiny, tiny little nail in place just well enough for me to hammer it the rest of the way in. And I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I don't know why, because that would have been a really great thing to think of to do um, at any time in my life that I have worked in design, from interior design to flower design to whatever. It would have been great to know this because I used to use like uh, your pliers and stuff to hold those little bitty nails in place. And how many times have you dropped them on the floor and they've just gone missing forever. So the glue definitely does help hold it in place. All right, now we can see what our finished stuff looks like and you'll see in a, a little short video in just a minute and then some beautiful pictures. And this is just really me going back and saying, what did I forget? Because I want everything that's on one to be on the other, even though I want them slightly different. So this is my yard, and you can see how pretty these came out. I was very proud of them. This is under one of my big oak trees out front. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you click that subscribe button and the notification bell? Well, if you don't hit that notification bell, you will miss out on our Thursday videos. So please go ahead, click it, and you'll be able to watch our videos that are coming up.